What is up guys, Kempai here. I've had a lot of people ask me on twitch.tv slash Kempai what these podiums are for and where to get the stone slates. So I wanted to make this video to give you a guide on how to do all the stone bird puzzles to get all seven stone slates and where they'll be. So you can get your chests at the end of this puzzle and help complete your Tsurumi Island to 100% exploration. Before we begin, you guys have to have the gadget of the peculiar opinion. If you guys do not have this gadget, check out the videos on my YouTube channel to get the Through the Mist quest part 1 and Through the Mist quest part 2 to be able to get the peculiar opinion gadget. So to begin for this podium statue ring thing, this will be in this area over here on the map next to Chirai Shrine. You'll have to go underground from Chirai Shrine and go down the pathway over to this broken dome area. There'll be seven of these podiums in total with one, two, three, four on this side. And on the other side, there'll be one, two, and three over here. Each of these podiums will require a stone slate and on this map here you'll see each of the locations marked by stars. These clovers are something else we'll talk about later but if you guys want to take a screenshot or pause the video you guys can mark your own map or I will also link this image down in the description below as well too. So the first stone slate we're going to go and grab will be over here at the shoal on this mark here. You're going to teleport to the ceremonial site and walk over to the marked location on the map. Once you get to the shoal on the map, you're going to see a little storm bird over here where you're going to have to clear off all the monsters first. Once all the monsters are cleared, you'll be able to get a blueprint chest and you're going to use the item to go and show the path of the Sealy. And you're just essentially going to go follow the Sealy down. And you're going to go and use the item again, and you're going to show this pattern here. This pattern is essentially the code and order of which you're going to have to hit the stone slates to finish out the puzzle. So this one is like a slanted slope circle, little symbol here, into a hook, into a tent is what I kind of like to call it. So we're going to go right back up. Using the Electrogranum. And we're going to hit them in the order of slant, circle, symbol, hook, tent. And you're going to get this chest here. And if you open up this chest, you'll see that we get a stone slate. For the next stone slate, we're going to head over to Mount Kana over here on the star. The easiest way to do it, I recommend, is to come from the first slate and just glide on down. And over here is going to be an entrance. I'm going to speed this little bit up so you guys don't have to watch me walk all the way in. And once you get to this point here, you'll see that the stone bird, storm bird is right here. So you're just going to use your feather on the stone bird, storm bird to activate the three Sealy. I recommend you chase only one at a time so you don't kind of lose track of them. We're going to speed this up here so you guys can see where they go. And when the Sealy stops here, you pick up the stone slab. And it's going to go right back to the central hub and you're going to go pick up your next Sealy. Then you're just going to go right back into the hub and slot in all three of the stone slabs. Once you're back, you're just going to shove all of them in and you're going to get all four stone stone pieces with the emblems ready. You'll see on the wall the pattern or the order you're supposed to be hitting these in. And so the order is tent, slope, 
hook, prong, and fork. So we're gonna do tent, slope, hook, prong, and fork. You'll have the next stone slate ready. And so for the next stone slate, we're going to go head over to this left side island here. So you can teleport over to this location and walk down or just straight up walk over there onto the island. So for this next stone slate, you're going to use the feather item again. And then it's going to activate these stones that you can push around to match the symbol plus the stone together. Just like you did in the Through the Mist Part 2 quest. So to solve this puzzle, what you're going to do first is you're going to move this zigzag outwards and you're going to move this claw outwards as well too. And once you move this one outwards, you're going to move the tent outwards as well. This will free up the two prong um, stone to be... Oh wait, sorry. You're going to move it towards the circle and then you're going to move the prong inwards. And then you're going to move this one towards the tent symbol. Then towards the hook symbol. And then you're going to move it outwards towards the two prong symbol. And afterwards, you're going to move this tent towards the zigzag symbol. And you're going to move it outwards towards that you are. little bit there. And now what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to push all these inwards for both of them. Conga line it in. And you're just going to keep on moving it towards the tent. You move this one towards the hook. Once it locks in. Or I guess inwards is what it's called. And then once that's done there, this one's going to go towards the zigzag. And this one is going to go towards the tent. You're actually going to push this one one more time outwards. And get a little bit uh, convoluted here. But don't worry, there is a reason for this all. You move this one towards the zigzag. And now you're going to move this hook inwards. Because this one wants to be on the tail end, as you can see here. Over here, it's going to end up being hook tent zigzag and then circle and so now you're just going to move this one towards the hook command but you're going to push it all the way to the end to make room for the other ones mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and one final push outwards and now what we're going to do is we're going to move this circle towards the tent Then you're gonna move this one outwards as well. Then you're gonna grab the tent. Move it inwards. Move it towards the tent symbol. Then towards the hook. And once more outwards. Now you're going to drag this zigzag all the way to the end as well too. So move it towards zigzag. And then move it towards the tent. I'm sure some of you guys can see the solution forming. And then you're going to move it towards the hook. And now the circle can move inwards. Oh, okay, actually... <laughs> Uh, you could technically have just moved the zigzag now that I see up here, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. One extra small step, and you can just have a big conga line going anyways. So now move this tent into zigzag. That was a bit of a mistake. Uh, zigzag. And move this one over towards the hook. Or inwards, I guess. Move it inwards. And towards the tent. And uh, now move this one inwards two times and you'll have the puzzle done. There we go. And that will give you access to the next stone slate. This one is one of the more difficult ones. It's not really that hard, but it will cause some people to struggle a little bit. 
So for the next stone piece, we're going to go up to the peak up here, up north. Hopefully you have this teleport waypoint, and I recommend you just go over and jump on down as soon as you are here. It's going to be all the way at the bottom. You'll have the stone bird here where you're just going to use your feather again, and it's going to show you the way for that. And then you'll use your stone feather over here as well too to activate these ones. And then you're also going to have to go around and activate all the stone birds to get the order. We're just going to go over here, then over to the other side. So once you have all the stone birds activated, you'll have the order and you're just going to be kind of going a clockwise way. So it's going to start with hook and then go slope, then circle. And then it's going to go zigzag and finish up with the prongs. So on the stones, you're going to go hook, slope, circle, zigzag into prong to finish that one out. And you're going to open the treasure to get the next stone slate. So for the next stone slate, we are going to go up north. So we're just going to teleport on back out so we can just glide over the mountain and go to the Broken Coliseum. And when you get here, you can use your feather to activate the slates, but I would recommend that you kind of kill off these two cubes on the side because they might spawn and bother you. All right, to solve this stone slate puzzle, you're going to move this one down one and you're just going to conga line it over. So slate slope goes that way, hook goes to hook, tent goes to tent, fork goes to fork. And then you're going to be allowed to move this one out. We're going to move this one inwards. Then you're going to push this one towards the zigzag. And now you're going to move fork all the way over towards prong. You're going to move the tent over as well towards fork. Move hook over towards tent. Move slope to hook. And then move the zigzag inwards towards slope. This will kind of free up the prong to move up. You're going to move fork outwards. Then you're going to allow the prong to move this way. And it'll free up so that zigzag can move towards zigzag and technically outwards. For now. And now you're going to move this one back towards zigzag. And then fork is going to move inwards. Now you're just going to proceed to kind of do a conga line where slope goes to slope. Hook goes to hook. Tent goes to tent. Fork goes to fork. Prong goes to prong. And then zigzag goes inwards towards zigzag and that will be the entirety of the puzzle. You're going to open the chest and get your stone slate. For the next stone slate, we're just going to teleport over to the shrine waypoint and we're going to head actually over to this one over here. This puzzle is going to be up top, so you're going to have to do a little bit of climbing. And when you're up here, you're going to use your feather to activate those panels. And then the rest of the pattern or the order is actually going to be from these stone birds. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to this stone bird first and use your feather. And once you use it, it'll activate this stone bird and give it electrical current. And then you'll see that pattern lights up. And then this pattern, then you go over on that one. And then finally you do this one here and you'll have the full pattern down the line from where you started. It'll be circle into zigzag and fork tent into wrong and so you'll come over to these slates and mimic that pattern so we're going to start with circle then go to zigzag which is going to be over here then go to fork then tent then prong it'll give you a chest that gives you the next stone slate afterwards we're going to go and teleport up to the shirai shrine for the last slate as well as the place we're going to be inputting them all you're going to come over here from the teleport waypoint and go right here and use your feather to activate this. After you activate that stone bird, you're going to climb up this little ledge and there's going to be another stone bird over here where you're going to use your feather. And then you're going to get this little activation point and it's going to show you the pattern on the floor here. So it's going to start with fork, hook, 
zigzag, tent, and then circle. So when you're at the slabs, it's gonna be fork, hook, zigzag, tent, into circle for the last chest. You're gonna open up, get that last stone slate, and you're gonna come this way over to the big hole in the floor. Go down the hole, go around. Go down the cave tunnel thing, and go fall down into the broken dome. And you're just gonna input all your stone slates into each of the podiums. Once the last one is in, it's going to spawn a couple chests and give you some light rewards. Alright, that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that puzzle. I'm going to go make a video for this other puzzle of the star-shaped gem. So make sure you guys subscribe to go and get Genshin Impact content and puzzle guides. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash to get these guides live as well as abyss help and account reviews. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below what you guys thought about this puzzle and its rewards. Make sure you guys follow me on my socials of Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And also make sure you guys join the Discord to be part of our Genshin Impact community. All those links will be down in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.